Hi there, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So you can see here that we have the VIP Club session, which I'm going to invite you to join. And you can see it has all the tools to help you make your picks. So we're going to look at NHL action, and as you can see here from March the 27th, as the season is getting close to the end, every game is becoming more and more important. So let's take a look at some of these games. First one is Florida and Ottawa. You see Florida is coming in average status there, 2-4 over the last six, while Ottawa is dead status there, just 1-5 and five over their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see that both teams have been trending in games over the line, although Ottawa has been under in the last two, with a combined score of just six uh, goals in those two games. Uh, the score predictor has Ottawa by a 4-3 to three score with about 75% level of confidence in the prediction, and that a total would probably be an over. Check to see what the line is before you take a look at that. You can see here on the power ranks indicator charts an upward and downward trend by the blue line here for Florida. They are now at plus 13, while Ottawa was stable at plus 6, but now they are at plus 4. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that back on October the 29th, Florida won 5-3 at home, and they also won, uh, that was back in April last year, so that doesn't really matter for this game here. Okay, um, if we take a look here at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, you can see that both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, Florida plus 13, Ottawa at plus 20. So in the end, I like this for Ottawa to win, take care of business at home, perhaps you need overtime to do so, but I would pass on the over-under. Okay, the next one we want to look at is a rivalry game here, the Islanders and Devils. New York coming in burning hot winners over their last three, while the Devils are ice cold down there, just two and four over their last six, and coming off of a two to one overtime loss at home. As far as the over under goes, you can see New York over in the last six, while New Jersey under in the last game and three over and three under in the last six. The score predictor has the Islanders by a pretty comfortable 4-2 to two margin, but only about 35% level of confidence in the prediction. So take a look at that as it gets closer and closer to game time. On the power ranks indicator chart, you can see New Jersey was up at plus 30, and you can see the dip that they took down to plus 24, steady for a little bit, and then back up to 25. While the Islanders took a hit, and they were at uh, plus 23 in March 11th, took a hit down to plus 14. And now they're back up to plus 21. In the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams, notice that the Islanders won 6-4 back on December 9th as a road underdog, and New Jersey won on the road back on October 20th, 4-1, also as a road underdog. So the road teams have prevailed in both games this year. I think that will change here in this one. I like um, the Islanders to win this one in a game going over the line. Okay, Seattle and Minnesota. Minnesota is burning hot, coming off of two straight wins and four and two over the last six, while Seattle is two and one over the last three and two and four over the last six. Take a look at the total streak. You can see the over is five out of the last six for Seattle. And this over chart here for Minnesota is five out of the last six. And the score predictor has a four to three uh, score. You see this confidence in prediction is 51%. Um, if we take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see here the upward trend for Minnesota. They were at 15. The upward trend is, a t is to 24. And this up and down chart for Seattle has Seattle now down to plus 14. That's their lowest level since uh, February the 28th. So what do I think in the end here? In the end here, I like this one to be a Minnesota win. Uh, I'm going against the trends here, but I think Minnesota's going to take this one and I'm going to go under the line. Colorado, Anaheim, you can see Colorado's coming in burning hot down. They're 5-1 over their last six. The only loss coming in their last game against Pittsburgh. Anaheim is ice cold down. They're coming off of two losses in a row and 2-4 and four over their last six. If you take a look at the over-under streak, Colorado 5 over and 1 under, while uh, Anaheim is a, look at this, it's 4 over and 2 under. So over is a good way to go in this one, if you can see here on the trends. The score prediction has 4-3 to three in favor of Colorado. And again, that trend will be over, and the confidence is at 52%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, clearly Colorado much stronger at the moment at plus 24, upward trend, 
Well, Anaheim is at plus three. If you look at the stability factor, you can see that Anaheim has been much more consistent. Doesn't mean they're good, just means that they're more consistent with regard to the favorite underdog status at plus 29 compared to plus seven. And so in the end, the way I'm going to look at this one is I like Colorado to win this one on the road in a game going over the line. We're going to look, take a look at Edmonton and Arizona next. This is going to be the last game we're going to look at. Edmonton's coming in burning hot, winners of five out of the last six, and their last two have been overtime wins. Arizona is coming off of two straight losses. One of them was, well, to Edmonton back a couple days ago, and they were formed two over the last six. The teams have been trending in games over the line, as you can see here, nine out of the last 12 combined, and the score predictor has it that way as well, 4-3 for Edmonton with about 73% level of confidence. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator chart, you can see that the big upward trend from 13 up to 23 for Edmonton and a, a downward trend for Arizona, they're at plus six. So what do I think in the end for this one? I think this is going to be an Edmonton game. It should win this game by a few goals, and I will go over the line on that one. Okay, so there you have it. Those are all the games for March 27th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.